three factors affecting resistance temperature the physical dimensions such as length and thickness and the resistivity of the material may affect the resistance of a resistor a temperature the resistance of a metal wire is constant when small current flows because it can release the excess heat readily and keep its temperature constant. The following experiment investigates the effect of temperature on resistance of a metal wire. Experiment 2B Effect of temperature on resistance of metal wire. We will investigate the relationship between the voltage across a light bulb and the current flowing through it. First, connect a light bulb in series with a rheostat, a power pack and an ammeter. Then connect a voltmeter across the bulb. Move the sliding contact of the rheostat to the end to maximize its resistance. Switch on the power supply. Record the ammeter and voltmeter readings. Adjust the output voltage of the power pack and the sliding contact of the rheostat to vary the current flowing through the bulb. Take a few sets of data. Plot a graph of the voltage V across bulb against the current I through bulb. What do you see from the graph? Does the filament of the bulb obey Ohm's law? From the IV characteristic, we can see that the resistance of a metal wire, especially a coiled one, increases with the current flow, as temperature increases when larger current flows. On the other hand, the resistance of most semiconductors decreases with temperature as there are more charge carriers when temperature increases. B. Length and thickness. Experiment 2C. Effect of length and thickness on resistance. You are provided with a wooden strip on which two Eureka wires of different thickness are mounted. Using a crocodile clip as a sliding contract, connect up at the maximum length of one of the Eureka wires in a circuit. Take the readings of the voltmeter and ammeter and calculate the resistance of different lengths of the wire. Measure the resistance of equal length of the two wires of different thickness and compare the results. Resistance wire is like water pipe. A thicker and shorter water pipe gives less resistance to water flow. Similarly, a thicker and shorter resistance wire has a smaller resistance. 
Double the length of the resistance wire is the same as adding an identical resistor in series. Hence, its resistance is directly proportional to the length of wire. A larger cross-section area is like having a similar resistor connected in parallel, hence resulting in smaller resistance. Experimental result shows the resistance of a wire is directly proportional to the length but inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of the wire. C. Resistivity Different materials have different molecular structure and arrangement. Hence, even at the same temperature and with the same dimensions, their resistance are not the same. In other words, different materials have different resistivities, just like they have different densities. Mathematically, R equals rho L over A. In fact, the resistivity of different materials are quite different. And we use that to classify conductors, semiconductor, and insulator. Example 7. Finding resistivity. This is a simple application of the formula just mentioned. Do check point 7 below.